I'm about to do this next one, man, but I'm hot, yo. I can't even do this right now, look. So if y'all ain't checked out part one of this video, I was exposing this YouTuber who likes the, I guess he's in like the conscious community part, right? And you know, I messed with this YouTuber. Like there was a part of my time where I would watch the videos consistently, but I've noticed that the message or that the, uh, the information that's being brought to the people is incoherent with what the pre previous video was being said. So which means that if y'all understand that meaning that they don't add up, things are not adding up and making sense. And if you watching some and you, you know what I'm saying? If you watch people on a regular, more like on a faithful basis, you're gonna see things not add up because you watching it. Like that's what I said, people need, like what's it called, a publicist or somebody to script their videos because it just, when you have a following, you can't just say anything all willy nilly to the people. And right now, if you guys paying attention, it's the end of Mercury retrograde. Do you know what that means, right? Well, if you understand about energy, it's, it's the end of the miscommunication. It's the end of confusion. All of that is subsiding right now at this point. So if things are starting to reveal itself right now, that means the fog, the uh, the fogness, the clouds, the uh, what's it called the thing that's been like clouding the judgments of people, that's dissipating right now. So things happen for a reason. These synchronicities, there are no coincidence to them. They add up for a reason. It's just so so uh, apparent now that everything is coming into you. It's just so wiki, uh, what's it called, coinky nick now that things are now being revealed to you. The veil is lifting. Matter of fact, people try to uh, use that test to try to get you to hate and judge yourself, to get you in that shame and guilt vibration. Yeah, that's how you can tell individuals are not chosen. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to give y'all facts, data, and statistics, okay? A person that's chosen or that walks in that faith, did God, did Jesus go around saying he was chosen? I don't know, but I don't think so. Chosen people, people who have that light of what, what quote unquote chosen, I don't know what that, uh, that even means. They walk in that because they vibrate on that. They're constantly walking in God's image. So they're teaching. They're teaching you stuff that nobody's going to teach you. Hell, stuff that you probably lying and withholding from yourself. That's how I could tell. So this is what. My thing was, there'll be some things that I'd be like, all right, all right, you know, that really get me to go deep within myself, right? And then there are some things that'd be like, what? I'd be like, huh? I'm like, how the fuck you just, like, what you mean? You making fun of these people because they broke? They being tested? You making fun of people because they being tested? Do you, do, do you know the first is last and the last is first? Do you know these people that you making fun of is about to be first? Do you not know that? People try to say that they that they know and that they're chosen and that they walk and that they oh I am that image and I'm but are you walking in that? A person that has that higher self image or I ideology sees himself in a higher status. People think it's you being oh man I'm better than everybody. No, you just raised the bar. You have you expect better from people, so you get like misled when people don't show you better. They show you the worst. That's the thing. That's like the most, what's it called? That's like the thing that chosen ones run into the most frequently. They expect big, they expect high, but they always getting low of others. That's how I'm saying. And chosen people, people who walk in that God's energy, that God's light, they know this. You don't have to tell this to a person. You wouldn't tell this to a person, actually, because the amount of pain and the amount of work and amount of disclosure that you have to implement on a daily basis, it takes a lifetime to build a, repu or, 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 um, a reputation. It takes a lifetime, but it takes a moment to crush it all. Look at R. Kelly. My nigga can sing better than 95% of the whole industry. One thing, but look at Woody Allen. He married to married a ten year old Asian girl. Nobody said a thing. Nobody, not the parents, not the family. Nobody. You see what I mean? I'm not justifying it. I'm not making it okay. But all I'm saying is, 
10 years old compared to 16. We focused on the wrong things, the wrong things. So if you see things revealing itself now with certain YouTubers, just know Mercury retrograde is subsiding right now. The veil is actually almost lifted. Things are about to be to come out exposed more than ever. Don't just misjudge that or overlook that whole situation. It's for a reason. So I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody. Hell, if people was walking in that love that that anointed to begin with, things like this would never pertain itself because it would never need to come up because constantly you can't lie. You can't lie from this light. That's why I said like a couple people made some good points. I was going back conflicted between myself because I always went back to that, especially when Kevin Samuels died. I ain't had nobody else to go on YouTube. I don't watch nobody on YouTube. I don't watch nobody, nobody, right? But I did watch Kevin Samuels and I like skimmed through changing his videos, right? You know, because he, he, sometimes he got good messages, right? So it's like a, it's a each one teach one. Sometimes you catch it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's a good or a no. So I'll skim through it. But lately, the last six months to a year, no, this whole entire year, I've been kind of like pulling myself back because I noticed the information is more like lower dimensional. So it's not higher. It's not about teaching you and uplifting you about yourself. It's more like me, me, me. It's like a boast. It's like, oh man, I'm feeling, I got, you know, ha, ha, I'm this and ha, I can, you know, and I'm like, ah, I'm just trying to feed ego. It's not a no, it's no longer about the people. It's more about, you know, self-interest and feeding the uh, the ego and individual. So you can tell. So when a person is making fun of you about something, anything that lack, just know <laughs> karma goes around <laughs> and it comes around. That's why now that you have yours, yeah, I'm talking to the people, the very few watching the video, it's, it's very important that you remain humble. It's very important that you remain on a high, 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 high vibration because you don't want to fall into the same things that these people went into. I learned something. Guess what? Guess what that is? The first is last and the last is first because the last is meant to observe the first so that way they don't make the same mistakes as the first did. So now all new leaders, all new people are being like asked or being called to step up. Meaning those other people, you see they're starting to dissipate. I'm talking people are dying. People are losing their channel, losing everything. I'm talking CJ So Cool. I'm talking a lot, a lot, a lot of people. It seemed like it's like this is weird, too. It's all happening at one time. And I'm like, damn, because it shows the confusion is over. The misleading is over. The fakeness is over. I'm telling y'all, yo, niggas, cats who was fake and misleading, guess what? It's no longer, you can't no longer condone or keep putting out that same uh, action. It can't be like that no more. You know, things are shaking up and everybody, go check out everything. If you if you had lack, you have abundance now. You've been getting, you've been getting a lot of stuff. And you know this because the energies never lie. That's another thing. When a person try to make or try to downplay something that you know is facts, that's another red flag. You are your own celebrity. You look up to yourself and you don't compete with any people's lane. So they're leading you on like playing that empathy, playing that chosen, but the actions into it does not show that. That's why I was looking at a couple of people and they make sense. And I already knew that people was going to already be doing this because when I watch it, I'm like, ah, shit, I bet I'm not the only one that saw that. I was like, man, that's bad because it'd be like, I just had a baby. I'm just broken up. Woman is trash. Woman is this. I'm not having a baby. I'm celibate. I'm seeing attention. I'm like, damn, I'm in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. I'm like, damn, every day is a whole new video or either every day or every other day. And it's so funny, too, because the people that came to my channel talking, man, I didn't know you was going back. I didn't back. I just told the truth. And it'd be with people with no profile picture, one letter as a name. I'm like, I know you are fake profiles like I like you act like I don't know like these same people will be coming on my channel in fake profiles talking about some man I never thought you and these be the same people that hate me these be the same people they, they'll throw you underneath the bus easily. I'm saying, the people I'm talking about, these people will throw you in the line, throw you underneath, throw you a sacrifice anytime. But the moment you admit a little truth, you be real. They try to like play that empathy, play that victim card, play that you're the aggressor. I'm telling you, it's a you're the aggressor so that way they can play as victims so that way 
they make your name or make you look, they just demonize your character. That's what it's all about. That's what they did with R. Kelly. I don't know. You guys, you watching this video, you know they got plenty of copy suits. They, bro, they makeup is awesome. So, all the shit that's out there, you telling me that's the real art and everybody like, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was there, but everybody be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are dead, they, man, that's a surety. They know 150%. Like, you almost would think that people was there. But they got clones, they got copy suits, they got makeup, they got all of that. They be doing blackface, they be doing all that shit, which means they dress up like you and go and commit acts. And then demonize your character, demonize your name. It takes a lifetime to build, but just a quick second to completely tarnish. Yeah. And people don't like to admit it because they doing that. They been doing it. So what if it's just not that, huh? What if it's not like people, but, but people be like, oh man, you're making excuses. But how? You are, you're probably at work. You're at home. It is what it is. So, with that being said, I don't feel guilty about calling out the truth. I don't want to say this forever. It's just that watching others is giving me more of an inclination to be more direct with the people. Because for those who listen to me, and I'm guessing that's probably a small few. For those who listen to me, I don't want to lead you guys astray. We've been enough leading astray. Enough. Enough of that. And very people I find credible to go listen to them as a valid source of information. I'm talking... A few people, when they consistently give out valid information that I can go and I can I can research and validate, then I make it more as a credible source. Like Rashad Jamal, Kevin Samuels. You knew that dude was in line because you can go and do the math and break it down and get the same answer he did. You get the same conclusion, right? You knew these people wasn't. For a time being, I thought a couple of other people were like, but they kind of shifted off, like Foster eBay, you know, da 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 da. And this YouTube, I'm talking, I'm talking about now. Nah, you, you get my drift, right? So nothing I say is out of hate and shade. I just saying, not everybody should go freely speaking on the internet. So a lot of people need publicists. They need scripted. They need, they need a ghostwriter. Yeah, they need a ghostwriter. And this is one of the dudes that need a ghostwriter. That's what I was trying to say. Like, people need to do more like podcasts, interviews together as like a group. That way they can kind of mediate, mediate people's, you know, words, mediate the conversation, keep it at like a, a, a wait, a, a higher vibratory tempo versus talking about stuff that's irrelevant, mentioning things like niggas be complaining in here, like, and trying to tarnish girls, yet we need girls. None in Vegas, but others in other states and, and other countries. Because, you know, if it wasn't for COVID, man, I'd be all over that, man. I'm saying that's how I did it. I just be countries and just easy, man, easy. Yo, women over there, whoo, the best thing in the world is in other countries. In the States, it's a gamble. It's you, you, you playing the lottery. You was playing the lottery. You probably dealing with someone else's. They sugar mama, you creepo, crazy. She or she want money, and that's nine times out of ten. So you one out of ten, you dealing with a crazy man. Shit, what's to look forward to in twenty twenty two? Damn, shit. I don't even want to say that out loud because that makes me like, why do I keep doing it for? You feel me? But yeah, did um. Still go back. I would say still listen to other sources, but the reason why truth is coming out now for those who are wondering is because it can't, the old can't keep existing in this new energy. That's why. So don't get mad at the people that's like bringing out truth. Now, if they're judging and demonizing your name in a low vibratory way, that's a whole other thing. They just talking smack. They a troll. But if they're calling out facts that you can go to the video and see for yourself, like, look. When they can go back to the video and show you stuff and it don't make sense, and you're like, wait, uh. and there's people in the comment section like, man, you was so and done, and you know damn well they like out of they and they don't got and they not and they claim to be. It's because now this is the trend. People want to be, you know, that people is not walking. People be the quick, the first person to talk mad trash to be in the lowest vibration, but want to walk as saying they're. Chosen is not something that you you say you are, you claim. People who are chosen do not say they're chosen. That is just because it's not fun. Because there's a couple things hot. I'm telling you all now. If you mention in this video, you really, you really, um, this is more of your vibratory. I'm gonna just leave it at that. But people who are chosen do not say they're chosen. That's rule number one. Do not 
say they're chosen. I don't, I've never met a chosen person, a real chosen person, admit or say out loud they were chosen. It's something you instinctively know. It's an energy, okay? The second thing is people don't try to clump people together as like chosen when they know that they're not chosen, okay? They're, so meaning that they're not trying to project that chosenness on other people. I know. So if they're going around trying to make it like, uh, make it the cool, the end game to talk about, chances are not chosen. The third is when a person typically goes 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 back and forth with his words, like you could do you, you you could tell the inconsistency in that individual's vocabulary. Like one moment they're this, one moment they hate shit, one moment they're not, one moment they don't want to date, no, one moment they hate this, one moment they're that, one moment they're having a baby, one moment they not. Like when they do that, just know like you need a PR. You need a PR. Alright, so and then I say the last thing is like because you know just off my you know my quick head right now I said my quick head but how you know a person is like trying to you know steal another chosen person or still a person who's actually walking in that but don't try to boast is when they are when, or, or when they practice humility okay it means that they don't want to be seen they don't want to be known well, they want to be known as far as fame, as far as, far as preaching a word or as far as whatever their skill is that they're supposed to give out. But they don't out in their regular life, out in their day to day. They are trying to remain incognito. That is how you know if a person is loud and walking and, ha, 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 and always trying to be, you know, aggressor or trying to be loud or trying to be noticed. Come on. You think you think chosen people will still be around if it was noticed everywhere? Come on. I'm going to answer that question for you right now. No. Okay? Chosen people go against this matrix because they're not, they're not, uh, what's it called? They're not made for it. They go against it. So anything that goes against it automatically is against the system. Therefore, they are, uh, what's it called? They're unwanted energy that's in the system. Unwanted meaning that it's going to be test. Yeah, but they're protected, but it's going to be test. And chosen people understand this. Chosen people understand this. It's not chosen people to be like, oh, man, that mother is when really they're just going through a test. Right. But because that individual is not chosen, they don't know. So they try to demonize them, try to get them to judge themselves, try to get them to feel shame upon them with the lowest of the lowest vibration. So that way they don't walk in their power. But the thing is, chosen people, they know this. Whoever these chosen people are, they already know. So you can't mess with a chosen person. They know you before you know you. So you can't try to get in over a chosen person. They already know. They're just seeing where you're going to take it at. They already know. I'm telling you. So, yeah. So I'm just saying, like, I ain't trying to expose, expose. I'm just calling out facts. All right. People can take it or leave. They can get upset or not. I ain't say this for people to get upset, but... You know, it must be made. It, it must be known because not everybody has like discernment. People are bad. like I be seeing people in the comments. Well, not this comments, but well, yeah, I had to delete. But seeing people in the comments of other people, and they be like, "Yeah, you are right." And I'm like, "Man, we looking back a year from now, I'm like, crap. I wish I would have never listened to that." I'm like, "I told you, I, I told you, I could have told, told told you that." It's because they don't know. They're still unaware. I'm saying, and there's no time to waste. I've been working on this shit for like seven, eight, nine, ten years. That I've been literally on that conscious etheric journey. I'm ten, and it still feel like I need more, more time. So you, there is no time to waste. Literally, this required ten thousand hours of effort and practice just to be able to make this shift. That's how powerful it is. Ten thousand hours, aka ten years, ten. 10 months, well, no, no, not 10 months, but yeah, that's how long it takes just to get somewhere with this. That is why this journey is different for chosen ones. That's why you can't judge and compete to other people's lanes because you, while you were healing and surviving, other people had everything. Parentals, help, nobody, narcissists not trying to mess with them, okay? So that's why you can tell an individual's chosen not. So when a person tries to act like they're chosen, they don't exhibit the traits of experience. They're not that diamond in the rough, so it shows. 
People can't hide the inner. That shows, and people get mad because they want you to believe their lies, but it's like, you gotta be a better actor, okay? You gotta practice your acting skills. Like, I'm telling you, yo, I've been doing acting since I was 10, and I'm still practicing acting. Like, that's how long I've been auditioning for. Acting takes you in understanding yourself, a self-discovery within self. That is how true actors are born. Yo, shit. That's how true actors are born. All right, y'all, so I'm about to wrap this video, man. Whoever watches to the end, man, thank you guys so much, man. Your donations are awesome. Thank you guys who like this video. Also, share this to three different people, man. Like I'm saying, the more you guys share this, the more I can tell you because the more I won't be relying on the algorithm to share my business with people. So I'll give y'all way more information. I'm talking about information that is going to send you to this new vibratory. You'll be able to call back your true power. All right, y'all, this Etos, everything on the other side, I'm out.